Watch a man who says he can channel his energy to become an ancient spiritual teacher named Jubal right before your very eyes. Right here on 2 at 4. And I'm Tom Parker, in for Paul Lindman, who is off on vacation till Monday. That is right. We have a very interesting program for you today. As a matter of fact, it, I often think in my 10 years hosting television programs on Channel 2, I've done everything and I've interviewed everybody. But today, something that we've it's never done before on one of our programs. Uh, the psychic phenomena are very popular these days. Some people say they're enjoying something of a renaissance in this country. And today we're going to speak with someone who is a psychic channeler. This is someone who claims another voice speaks through him. And in just a little while, we will see him go into a trance and we will see him see this or hear this spirit speak through our first guest. It's the spirit of an ancient person, he says, has come back to life through him to dispense wisdom to the living. Let's talk to the one who's living and with us today about this phenomenon. Please welcome Jerry Prim. Hi, Jerry. Hello, Jerry. Um, prior to reading several articles to get ready for this interview today, I had never heard of psychic channeling before, and I'm sure a lot of people out there are like me, in the dark about this kind of thing. Um, you claim not to be a psychic, is that correct? Uh, no, I'm, I'm not a psychic myself. What, what are you then? Exactly what is a channeler? Well, a channel, um, there's several different forms of channeling that people do. Some do it conscious, where they're aware of what's being said. Um, whereas I'm a little bit different, uh, there, well, there are lots of people that do dead trance, uh, channeling where, um, I just kind of go to sleep and, um, it's still my voice that's talking, but, um, I'm not aware of what's being said. And, um, it kind of takes on a little bit of a different accent and, uh, the man Jubal that comes through me, um, has said that he was a, the son of an Ethiopian king named Juba, and um, his name is Jubal. And uh, the things that he started telling people, you know, um, when he would talk, people were responding so positively to what was happening to them after um, talking to him. It happened in a meditation class, that, and the first meditation class I ever went to. Mm -hmm. And I, was, I wasn't raised around meditation or anything, and this was what took place that, that night at the meditation. It was, this wasn't something that I wanted to do. Now, you, if I understand you correctly, you're not aware of what Jubal is saying when you go into this trance. No. What do you have control over? You have control of when Jubal comes, or can he come when you're driving down the street in the car? He can come when I'm driving down the street in the car. He doesn't, um, and he'll come any time that I want for him to. Can he come when you don't want him to? Um, Can you resist it, in other words? Oh, yeah. Or does it come, yeah. boom, and you're not even aware it's going to oh, no. come? Okay. And it, since you're not aware of what's happening while it's happening, obviously you have no control to stop it then, right? That's right. Okay. And you're not aware of what you say or what is said through you until afterwards. Somebody has to recap that for you? Or? Uh, yeah, either by word or by tape or whatever. When did that start happening to you? It must have happened at an earlier point than your meditation. No, it, it happened when I was 18. When I was younger, excuse me, I was always aware, and you'll notice there'll be lots of that go on with, while he's talking. Um, when I was younger, I'd, I'd had psychic feelings, but today I'm, I'm not really psychic. I don't get feelings about things like when I was younger, before he started coming through. Then I used to start, I would, you know, amaze everybody with, with things that would, I would just blurt out. But uh, I, re I wasn't entranced at the time. Jerry, what do you say to the skeptics? There are people out there who would say, hey, channeling, that sounds like a bunch of hooey to me. What, what do you say to that? Um, well, okay. I mean, there's got to be a percentage of people out there who definitely believe in, in what you say goes on, and then there are those who say, hey. Well, I think, I think that's true with just about everything in life. You know, this wasn't something that I wanted to do, and, and I recognize that there are people that, that say that this is hooey, and... Um, that's, that's, that's okay. Uh, How do we know that it's really happening, though, and that it's not some kind of an act? I don't mean to offend you. Oh, no, no, but, no. But watching something like this is so bizarre to someone who's never seen it before. You're tempted to say, oh, that can't be real. Yeah. 
How do we know? Can you tell us something about the, the reign of this Ethiopian king that we can look up in some obscure encyclopedia and verify? Do you speak the language he used to speak, for example? As a matter of fact, somebody just sent us an article that they had a, a librarian who had found some information on King Juba of Ethiopia and his son Jubal um, just the last week in the mail. Um, so, you know, I don't... That's something that never has been real important. What, to me, um, what's come through has been what's important and what it's done for other people. You know, I've been in Portland now for 12 years and see eight clients a day. Uh, and a lot of those people have been coming back for eight years and 10 years and what do you do when you see eight clients a day? Do you just stay in a trance all day long and they go in and out? No, or? as a matter of fact, he'll only hold my body under for at a maximum of about an hour and 15 minutes at a time. Mm -hmm. And we've had trance sessions with a person that only took 10 minutes, that that was all that mm -hmm. um, he had to say or that they had to ask or whatever. All right, well, I'll tell you what, when we come back to 2 at 4, we will meet Jubal. We will find out some answers to questions. Stay with us. It's live here on Channel 2. Well, as I say, we are going to attempt something we've never done before on Two at Four. Uh, our guest today is Jerry Prim, and he is a channeler. He has offered now to go into a meditative trance and to bring forth uh, the spirit he says speaks through him, Jubal. Are you ready, Jerry? Sure. You want to give this a try? Okay, we're going to dim the lights a little bit, and uh, I'm going to try to keep up something of a running commentary so you can see exactly what's happening. The lights will continue to dim. And we understand it takes about 30 seconds for Jerry to enter into a deep enough state so that Jubal will make his presence known. So, if we just wait a little longer. I'll show him the key. I wish to say to you, bless the Lord, and my soul. Oh, that this day may bless this holy name. To be my great pleasure to be with you this time. Give me the guidance and directions that I'm beyond the bill. And I miss true, but I'll be taking you through this time. Could I hear your name, please? Jubal, you're on the Two at Four program, a television program right now. And we're going to ask you some questions. Is that all right? Good, yeah. Who um, are you? I'm Margie. I'm the host of the program. Oh, good, Margie. Thank you. Jubal, can you see the future? Can you remember the past? Oh, do you know the energies in which it is there? The future is something in which it is there are no absolutes with. But the energies in which it is there, the way in which that it moves is the energies of revealed. Yes, the energies of the past is the energies of things in which they can be remembered. All the energies of the time, the vibration to pull that energy up to the energies of the present. The vibrations in which that is there is just that much of the time though, in the energies in which that is there, facts are facts and the energies from the energy of the past. But in much of the time, the energies in which that is there, when the energy is, is that even you as an individual look back, you're going to see the energies if you had six people seeing the same situation. Six people are going to see it diff six different ways. The vibrations in which that is there so goes with the energies of everything in life. But the energies in which that is there, the facts in which that is there, definitely can be viewed from the energy of the past. I want to ask you some more questions, Jubal. I, do you Good. know who Jerry is? Oh, sure. You speak through Jerry. Yes. Why did you pick, pick Jerry to speak through? The energies of the bonding between this medium and myself became before this medium was ever born. The energies in which it is there, I act as the energy. You hear of the term guardian angel. The energies in which it is there, that is the energies in which the Chubu is to this medium. The vibration is this medium is the energies of a little bit different from the energies of most people. At the back of the head, at the medulla oblongata point, 
where the centers of the brain are. The energies in which that is there, I operate this medium through the energy of that center. Most people are not able to get out of the way enough to go to sleep and allow the energies of others to speak. There are many in which that have this ability, but the energies in which that is there is is that we are discovering more and more in which that are opening up themselves to this kind of work and being able to use their bodies as a tool for the spirit. What kinds of questions do people ask you, Jubal? Well, the energies in which there is there, the most questions in which that happens with people is about their health. The energies in which there is there, the things most people come to talk about is their love and about the energy, their work, and about their spiritual lives, I would say, would be the most common thing in which that Juba has talked to people about over the years. How can you speak English? If you lived in ancient times. Well, my last time here was in San Diego. The energies in which it is there, but the last time I was here, it was in San Diego, and the energies in which it is there, I have use of the English language from that time, but the energies in Egypt and the energy Ethiopia, it's the energies of where I draw the most information from. And being in the United States, working through these people, the energies in which it is there, they wouldn't be able to do the energies of Ethiopian and be able to work from that place. So the energies in which it is there, I draw from the energy of the English of San Diego and the energies in which it is there, the wisdom from when I was taught by my father and the energy of Herod. Jubal, just relax for a few moments. Uh, I'm gonna to speak to our viewers for a moment. Okay. The telephones are open for those of you who have a question for Jubal. We will put the telephone numbers on the screen. We will continue with this interview and we'll speak with Jerry one more time before we say goodbye. Don't go away. Jerry Prum, Jubal's other Hollywood client list, includes Rick Hurst and Judy Bach from the Dukes of Hazard.